How to build a website with Striking. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about this platform called Strikingly and we're going to teach you how you can create a website. Now before we start, what is Strikingly? Strikingly is a website builder and a hosting platform that allows users to create professional looking websites with little or no coding knowledge. Strikingly offers a range of templates that users can customize with their own texts, images, and videos. The templates are responsive, which means that they adapt to different screen sizes, such as mobile devices. Strikingly also provides tools for adding features such as e-commerce functionality, social media integration, and contact forms. Now to begin with, first we're going to enter our first name, our email address, and then a password. After adding all of this information, you can simply click on Get Started. Now after doing that, we would be redirected to this page over here, which is the home page or the dashboard of Strikingly. As you can see here, we can select any templates that we want. There are different types of templates that you could choose from and then edit, and then edit and customize to the website that you want. As we can see over here on the left side, we have different options such as templates for online store, businesses, landing page, membership and courses, creative templates, orgs and events templates, personal blanks, or you could click on add a blank over here, which would allow you to create a blank templates and edit from scratch. You could also enable this option where it is only one page only, and then you could add more pages anytime. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose a random template that we like. For example, this page over here, we're going to hover it and it's going to show us two options. You could either click on start editing or view sample. View sample will allow us to show, view sample would allow us to see the templates that we are going to be editing. For example, over here, this is the welcome page. This is the about section, shop, and then visit section. Now, if we decide to choose this option, we could simply click on this button on the top, right? And then this will take us to the editing page of Strikingly. Now it's going to ask us if you want a quick tour on the Strikingly editing page. But for now, we're going to click on no text. Now, as you can see, when we hover over the different components, we would see a box. We would be able to edit each and every components of this page, just like a normal website editor. We could also see over here on the left side where we could edit the styles, check out the store, check out the audience, check out the settings. There's also sections over here such as welcome, about us, shop, sign up, visit, and we could add another section by clicking over here, and then this will add another page. We could also have external links by clicking this button over here, and we could also preview the sites from a desktop view or a mobile view, just like this. So after editing, you can simply click on publish, and then this will publish our page over here. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to click on the styles option. And over here, we would be able to change the color scheme of our template. Over here, we have the olive, blue, red, purple, and black. And as you can observe, as we hover over the different options, the color of the button is also changing just like that. We could also see over here that it's also changing color. We could add a custom color by clicking this option over here. Then you could drag on the different color palette that you want. As we scroll down, we have this options called fonts over here. Over here, we would be able to change the fonts of the title, heading, text, button into the different font options available in Strikingly, such as this options over here. You could also search for a Google font by clicking over here. And you could upload a custom font, but you would need to upgrade to Pro to access this. You could also add animations to your page, such as the animation for page scroll, animation for background, and animation for image link hover. You could also change the templates once again by clicking over here on the top if you are not satisfied with the template that you have just selected. Now we're going to click on the store option over here. Over here, this is where we will be able to edit our store. Over here, this is where we will be able to edit our different store components, such as the products, the shipping, the taxes, the store settings, you could also select the audience over here where we could have a live chat, have memberships and email automations to invite in customers. We could also have promotions, analytics and settings over here. Now by clicking the settings, we would be able to see the different settings available in Strikingly, such as having a free domain. To get a free domain, you would need to upgrade your plan so that you could set up your own page. 
You could also see over here basic info such as the site title. You could select the category from personal to startup, business, and a lot more options. We could have site descriptions. You could also change the site language by clicking this. We could also share social media image. We could have favicont. We could enable the Twitter card. And after editing this, you could simply click on save. You could also access your payment methods over here. The settings for email notification, mobile actions, header and footer over here, and multiple pages. Now to edit our specific part of the page, you can simply, you can simply hover on the components that you want to edit. For example, this page, I'm going to edit this header. We're simply going to highlight everything and then we're going to give it a test title just like that. And then you could also edit this heading too. We can change the text to something else. For example, recipe, recipes, just like that. You could change the URL link. You could change the URL link, just like that. And then after editing this, you can simply click on save, remove or cancel. We could also add an image or a video by clicking this option over here. And then we would be able to upload any image or video that you want. We could also change the background that we have to this different options. For example, this option over here. You could also upload an image that you want or you could edit the specific image. You could also remove it altogether and then click on save. You could also change the layout by clicking this button over here, which will rearrange the components a little bit. You could also could also click on edit where you could choose the options top space bottom space and then drag and drop and in the middle we could also change this components by clicking here we can highlight this you could change the paragraph options the alignments just like that you could make it justified right aligned centered left aligned you could also change the font colors to the color that we want you could click on custom to choose the specific color just like that you could also edit that you could also edit this image just like the ones earlier you could have the image editor we could replace it we could remove it we could add a hyperlink to it or we could add an alternative text after editing it you can simply click on save scrolling down you could also add items over here by clicking this you could add extra items for it just like that and over here also you could add products over here by clicking this and what we saw earlier, you could add products that you want and it would appear on your website. You could also change the background over here to a different color, just like that, from the different fonts. You could also edit the social media section over here, like you can link in your Facebook, you can link in your Twitter, you can link in your LinkedIn, and your Pinterest, just like that. Then you can customize the URL, click on save, and as you can see, the logos would appear over here on the bottom. And after editing the components that you like, after creating, creatively designing your page, you could simply click over here on the preview site. And then this will show you a preview of the current state of your page. Now after finalizing your design, you can simply click on publish. And then you would be able to publish this site by clicking on either free pricing and upgrade, which would allow you to add custom domains, have site memberships and members only page, remove strikingly branding and much more. But for now, we're going to click on just publish free. And then over here, we would have a free domain. Or if we want a custom domain, we could click this. We're going to click on next. We have a title over here. We're going to click on publish now. We're going to click on no publish anyway. And just like that, our website has been published. We could share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. Or we could check it out by clicking this. And as you can see, this is our current website right now. And that's it, guys. That's how you can create a website in Strikingly. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.